Call to order. This is a special meeting of the Common Council, and our city clerk, Sue Richards, will read us the most timely quote of the evening. Okay. You cannot escape the responsibility of tomorrow by evading it today. Thank you, Sue. Roll call, please. Belt? Here. Warren? Here. Carlson? Here. Decker? Here. Hammond? Here. Hammond? Here. Heidemann? Here. Koth? Here. Kittleson? Here. Matichak? Here. Raisler? Here. Samson? Here. Van Akron? Here. Vanderweel? Here. And Versi? Here. 15 ayes. We have a quorum. Now if we can all join Alderman Samson in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, moving on the agenda, Mayor's comments, I'll be brief. This could be a long meeting this evening. Uh, one thing I would like to uh, institute this evening, seeing as this budget has been discussed uh, at length, uh, is that on each motion, that uh, each alderman uh, speaks no more than twice on each motion. So when there's a motion, you know, that, that way we're not going back and forth all evening long. Um, we have a lot of work to do tonight. My goal is that when we leave here, we will have a balanced city budget, and I'm sure that's your goal too. I'm more than willing to spend as much time as it takes to come up with a responsible budget. Spent several ideas um, that have been floated. Uh, in my opinion, the most fair of all uh, resolutions that have come through the council is to institute a city services fee of some sort. That city services fee will cover um, what we have as a deficit. If we look at uh, 2011, um, because of the number of retirements that we've had in the city, uh, we are facing, in 2011, approximately a $450,000 deficit. This is a one-time cost due to the number of retirees that we are having in the city. Looking at 2012, and uh, uh, Jim Amodio will explain this at length, but right now we are looking at, in 2012, approximately $585,000 of a deficit that we're facing at this moment, and a $470,000 shortfall in the general fund reserve balance. The general fund reserve balance by ordinance passed, I believe, back in the 80s, um, requires us to have 18% of our revenue, annual revenue, um, in a general fund reserve balance. We are $470,000 short on that. So that totals about a million and a half dollars that we need to work through this evening. There's been several different uh, ideas. Um, one is to cut all departments accordingly across the board. In my opinion, that's irresponsible. I think we need to look at, as a city, uh, what we are all about. What are we? What services do we provide? The services that we do provide, we should provide to the best of our ability. Um, to do a across the board cut, I think is irresponsible. We can look at privatization of some services. In my opinion, the core services of the city are number one, public protection and safety. That is a core service of the city. Library is a core service. Uh, streets, sanitation, core services, along with parks, snow plowing, uh, road repair, et cetera. Those are our core services. All of those services we should provide uh, to the best that we can. And if we get to the point that we cannot afford to provide those services in the manner that the public deserves for the tax dollar, uh, we don't belong providing those services. So those are the decisions we need to make. If we were to do a city services fee, um, we're looking at a million and a half dollar deficit 
A city services fee, we can peg that as a garbage fee. Okay, this is a garbage collection fee. In essence, it's not just a garbage collection fee. Um, it's a fee that covers keeping all of our core services at the same level that they are right now in the year 2011. Keeping the same level of service in 2012 that we are providing in 2011. And I think that's the way it needs to be looked at. Aldermen have to ask themselves, would you raise the tax levy in order to provide those same services? Obviously, the answer is we can't raise the tax levy by the governor's budget. But would you raise the tax levy in order to provide the same core services for 2012 that we are in 2011? If that answer is yes, um, then we would be providing the same services, obviously. So I think we need to keep that in mind. But uh, we will start with matters laid over. <coughs> President Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, I move that we accept and file all the ROs to include 1518, 1523, 1528, 1539, 1540, 1555, and 1616, and to accept and adopt the following RCs, 1427, 1428, 1429, 1430, 1431, and 1634. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. A motion and a second under discussion. Alderman Van Akron. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Can I ask that you take 1634 separate, please? I'd like to take 1634 for a separate vote. 1634 being the recommendation to the full council for their consideration to privatize garbage, stipulating a five-year contract. You'd like that for a separate vote? Correct, please. Is there a second on a separate vote on that? Second. All in favor of voting separate on that, say aye. 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 Opposed? We'll take that for a separate vote. Thank you, Alderman Van Akron. Alderman Bourne? I just caught the tail end of President Decker's. Uh, uh, did that include 1635 and 1636, Alderman Decker? No, it did not. No, just through 1431? Correct. Then I got it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Alderman Bourne. <clears throat> Any further discussion? <clears throat> Okay, um, all in favor of passing with the exception of a separate vote on 1634, and obviously 35 and 36 are not included, say aye. 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 Opposed? No. We have one no. We'll do a roll call vote. Bourne? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Huth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Percy? No. And Belt? Aye. 14 ayes, 1 no. Motion carries. To 1634. <coughs> Alderman Van Akron wanted to take this for a separate vote under discussion on 1634. There is no discussion on 1634. Roll call, please. Carlson? Aye. Decker? No. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? No. Heidemann? No. Cuff? No. Kittleson? No. Matichek? No. Raisler? No. Sampson? No. Van Akron? No. Vanderweel? No. Percy? No. Belt? No. And Boren? No. <clears throat> Two eyes, 12 notes. 1634 fails. Okay, moving on to 1635, mm -hmm. I don't have a third page on my agenda. There you go. <laughs> moving on to 1635, RC number 2441112 by Committee of the Whole, ordering the 2012 budget appropriations for the City of Sheboygan funds. 
Resolution 93-11-12 by Alderpersons Hammond, Bourne, Matichek, and Van Akron ordering the 2012 budget appropriations for the City of Sheboygan funds. Alderman Bourne? Uh, that must have been from before, Mayor. No, you, you can do the motion. It's a committee oh. of the whole document. Yeah, it's a committee of the whole document. Okay. Uh, I would move that the report of the committee be accepted and adopted and the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. Under discussion. There is no discussion on 1635. Alderman Bourne. Uh, let me just take a look here. Oh, that's fine. Okay, if there is no discussion on 1635, roll call, please. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Cott? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Riesler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Percy? No. Belt? Aye. Warren? Aye. And Carlson? Aye. 13 ayes, 1 no. I'm sorry, 14 ayes, 1 no. All right, we're down to one document, folks. <laughs> 1636. This is fast work tonight. Yeah. 1636, RC number 245 1112, by Committee of the Whole, ordering the 2012 budget appropriations and the 2011 tax levy for use during the calendar year 2012. Resolution number 941112 by Alder Persons Hammond, Boren, Matichek, and Van Akron, a resolution ordering the 2012 budget appropriations and the 2011 tax levy for use during the calendar year 2012. Committee of the Whole, Alderman Boren. Thanks, Mayor. I move that the report of the committee be accepted and adopted and the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. Under discussion, we have Alder Person Kittleson. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, can you just, I guess I'd just like to go over this one more time. It's, is it the fund equity applied? Um, is it, can you review on that? Just what are we from the general fund? Could we ask, could I ask D Director Amodio if he could just clarify that sure. for me, please? Mr. Amodio, if you'd like to uh, come up to the podium. I want to Thanks. bring a I'm seat six. and a soda with you. Alderperson Kittleson? I, I just wondered what, I mean, what are exactly here? We're approving this from the Committee of the Whole, and, and what is the line item that we were looking at? It is the, the, the uh, under the general fund, the 947-377? Right. In passing this document, we would take $947,000 out of, out, of, out, of, out of uh, unfunded uh, uh, general fund reserves. Okay. And that's, Okay. That's what we're here tonight, I think, to resolve. And that's how that works. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Under discussion, Alderman Van Akron. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, Chief Administrator, can you, can you go over again the, the budget situation? I know the mayor just touched on it, but if you can kind of go over where we're at and uh, also give us, um, I believe, the, the numbers you received for your, your garbage quotes at this point. Sure. Jim. <laughs> Um, according to the document we just uh, uh, referred to, there's a $950,000 shortfall in the general, general fund as we speak. Um, in addition to that, uh, as we spoke last time, elections uh, would add another $80,000 to it. Uh, there'd be uh, two elections uh, for the mayoral, and there'd be two probably for the governor's position. In addition, uh, we set aside $100,000 for airport site prep uh, for the uh, river dredging next year, which would bring the shortfall um, in 2012 to 1,000,000 We also went through some reductions to that after this was published. Uh, one was uh, public works restructuring of about $270,000, not replacing the public works director, which would save an additional $125,000. Also saving a uh, one fire mechanic uh, for $80,000. The mechanical work would be done by the motor vehicle fund. 
and also uh, with the one ratification of police supervisors uh, would save us 70000 The total of those savings is $545,000. Subtracted from the one million one thirty would leave a shortfall in 2012 of $585,000. In addition, we have the one-time shortfall in 2011 uh, with the added retirements we had of $450,000. And then additionally, a $470,000 shortfall uh, to meet the minimum requirement um, of our uh, <clears throat> uh, general fund reserve balance. Yes, so that would take the total of those three to $1.5 million. Not included in this is the uh, police patrol, which potentially could save us $230,000. Uh, that's going to mediation in the near future. Uh, from that, could go to arbitration and conceivably we couldn't have resolution until sometime next year. So it would be unfair to calculate the potential savings that we could have uh, from that negotiation, if that answers your question. I think so. What was your total number again at the end? One million five oh five. Okay. Answer your question, Gene? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Next we have uh, Alderman Raisler. Oh, uh, I didn't finish... I think uh, okay, Alderman Van Akron's part two. Uh, okay. We, have we part received two, uh, two quotes back. Uh, they were not hard quotes because we, we didn't have time to go through all the detail. Um, but the lowest bidder was $9.50 uh, a month per household uh, for uh, garbage pickup and recycling. How many bids did you get? I'm sorry? How many bids did two. you get? Two. And that was the lowest? That was the lowest. And what does that come out to yearly cost then? One million nine. Uh, that was a five-year contract uh, with uh, a CPI um, clause in it that said uh, that would escalate by the uh, amount of CPI each year over five years, which is not uncommon. Uh, also provided for uh, the use of city trucks. Uh, there was no estimated start time. Uh, as, you know, we hadn't laid out all the ground rules and not really gotten into all of the um, details of that contract. Uh, based on what happens tonight, if anything does happen, we would pursue that. Uh, if it didn't happen, that that's what we wanted to do, then um, it would end there. Thank you, Jim. Answer your questions, Alderman Van mm -hmm. Akron. Yes, thank you. Alderman Raisler, please. Attorney Plinkin, you have a comment? We were looking at. Um, I can remind everybody this is a council meeting when we ask our questions if we can. Okay, yeah, just I thought the attorney was going to jump in. Um, Mr. Brown, I make a motion to add a $5 uh, city service fee on uh, to cover the shortfall of approximately $1,035,000, uh, and we would continue to run uh, with a shortfall in the general fund. Second. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second on instituting a city services fee of $5. Is that per household? Per month, yes. Per household per month? Yes, please. Okay. Um, that's a motion and a second under discussion. Uh, we'll, this will be under discussion on this subject only at this point. $5 fee. Alderman Bourne. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Mr. Amodio, how much would the $5 fee raise? A uh, million dollars. Just a million? One million oh fifty. So we're still short uh, 505000 bucks then, even with the... About, five... Yeah, about 450000 we'd be short. Okay. Um, and that would be, that would be, sh that would be short than in our uh, reserve fund, correct? Correct. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Boren. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, I guess... Um, what would, rather than five, what would, what would make that up? I, I believe if we <coughs> divided the 1505 by 17,500 households, we would get probably 80, would we get $86? Yeah, it'd be household? roughly $7.81. Oh, okay, so we could say to have that it, it, replacement or that services fee if it weren't five, we could the, the cover that we could cover the shortfall if we easily said eight dollars. Correct. 
Okay. Thank you. Okay, right now our discussion is a, a motion and a second on a $5 city services fee. Under discussion, President Decker. You didn't buzz in? Oh, I'm sorry. We're, we're, we're backwards here. The board hasn't changed yet. Vice President Hammond, please. Just meant to keep you on your toes, Mr. Mayor. Um, I'm actually uh, in, in favor of the, of the fee. I think it's a, a good way to go, um, although I think it may need to be a little bit higher. Um, I don't think any of us are looking for ways to charge more fees. These are all very difficult decisions. We can't raise the levy. Part of the reason we're in this situation is because I think, and very nobly, the levy was kept frozen for the better part of five years. Well, the challenge is our cost for core services still continue to go up where well, that levy was staying frozen. So again, in business, your revenue is flat and your costs are going up. Eventually, that's going to come back. It would be about $7.16 to cover per household um, based off the 17,500 number that we've been kind of bantering around um, to cover the 1.5 and bring the general fund back up to where it's at. Um, that said, we don't know where police patrol is going to be. Um, so that could be upwards of 240,000. Um, so I would, I guess, offer an amendment um, to the motion that we um, go to $7.16. Okay, we have a motion and a second at the $5 per month per household city services fee. Is everybody okay with that term? Sure. Um, we have a motion, a friendly amendment is this? This is a motion. It's this a motion. is a motion. Okay, do we have a second? Second. We have a second on this motion. I'll, could you repeat what President the Decker, did you make that second? Could you repeat, I'm sorry, Alderman Hammond, what it was? $7.16. $7.16 for the same that Alderman Raisler said for every household? Correct. Okay. Okay, Alderman Raisler, you put through forth the original motion at $5. That was seconded by Alderman Belt. Alderman, Alderman Belt. Belt. Mm -hmm. um, so we would vote on the last we, one first. Yeah, we will have to, uh, we would vote on the. We would vote on Amendment Alderman first. Hammond's first unless there's a. <coughs> okay. We have another motion and a second at $7.16. Mm -hmm. And that raises. That brings us whole. Million five? Million five. Seven sixteen. Okay. Uh, one question I pose to the council, if I may. Is this a garbage fee? We're calling it a city services fee. Or is this a fee that covers all services, core services we are providing in the city? All core services. Okay. The question I'm posing to the council. If this is a fee for all core services... Um, do we include in this fee commercial, industrial, um, manufacturing prop properties because they use also all core services? That's a question I'm posing to the council. Um, for information, there's approximately 1,700 of those properties in the entire city. Um, moving down the line here. Uh, Steve? Thank you, Your Honor. I just want to point out that... Uh, the legal distinction here uh, between a tax and a special charge. Uh, the statutes allow for special charges for specific uh, municipal services, and it specifically includes garbage collection. Uh, I think if you start talking about a fee for core city services, you're talking about taxes. And uh, the advantage of a special charge is that that can be uh, Statutorily, if it's not paid on time, it can be added on to the tax rolls as a special charge and collected, uh, delinquencies collected uh, through the tax, uh, through the tax uh, collection process. But uh, I think you need to distinguish between special charge, which the statutes uh, authorize for specific city services. Again, statutes specifically mention garbage collection uh, versus a fee for general city services that, in my view, would be viewed as by, uh, by a court as a tax in another name. Um, what other city services would be, could be included under that? Um, I didn't bring my statute book, but I'll 
Sorry. We've got Is time. Go I, don't, I don't think we're going anywhere. Okay, under discussion, um, we have two, um, two motions. We have one motion for a $5 fee. We have one motion for a $7.16 fee. Um, next on the board, we have Alderman Carlson. Okay, we're just speaking on the 716. Alderman Carlson, pass. Okay. Alderman Hammond. Uh, Mr. Mayor, you asked the question that I was going to. Alderman Boren for the second time. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. This is on uh, Alderman Hammond's uh, motion for the 716. Alderman Hammond, I'm wondering if you would be willing to amend that to make it 716 for 2012 and make it $5 thereafter with a sunset in January of 2015. Because the 716 is really to fill the hole this year. We're not going to have the, should not have the expenses next year. I'm wondering if you'd consider that if I would make that motion. Yeah, I accept that friendly amendment. Would you like to repeat it, Alderman Byrne? <clears throat> yes. The, uh, $7.16 would be for tax year 2016, and no, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, 2012. <laughs> and then we would revert back to $5 a month for 2013, <clears throat> and the $5 fee would sunset in January of 2015. And if I just give an explanation on that, we're... We're, our property tax levy is going to be frozen for 12 and 13. 14 potentially could be an uncapped year. And then the council in late 14 could revisit that. Uh, it, would, it would sunset in January of 15. Um, I believe is, is the property tax levy frozen for 12 and 13? Mm -hmm. 12 and 13. Well, 13 is CPI, right? That's CPI, correct. Yeah. We need a second. Okay, we have a, uh, a motion. Uh, we need a second on this motion. Did we have a second? Second. Okay, it was a friendly amendment to Alderman Hammonds, and so Alderman Hammond and Decker both agree with this, who put forth the original motion. So the amendment is that in the uh, fiscal year 2012, which also happens to be calendar year, uh, there will be a $7.16 uh, we're referring to it as city services fee at this point until Steve comes back. Uh, year 2013, um, that will reduce, will drop to $5. Um, and $5 in 14, or $5 in 14, and January 1st of 15 goes to zero. It sunsets. It sunsets. And if that council at that time wants to carry on, they can, but that gives them an opportunity to take a look at it at the end of 14, see where we are. Okay. Uh, question to, uh, if I may, uh, <coughs> Chief Amodio, yes, uh, does that make sense financially for 13 as far as our cost for 13? Yes. Okay. Mayor, can we clarify you were talking about commercial properties? Is that included in the motion or not? <coughs> Well, I think, um, you know, I put forth the commercial properties if this is a city services fee. I think we're waiting for okay. Attorney McLean to come back and explain exactly what can be included in a city services fee if that needs to be specified as garbage or can it be police, fire, et cetera. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah, <clears throat> there's no reference in the statute to city service fee, but <clears throat> statutes talk about special charges for current services and energy and water efficiency improvement loans. And uh, service includes snow and ice removal, weed elimination, street sprinkling, oiling and tarring, repair of sidewalks or curb and gutter, garbage and refuse disposal, recycling, stormwater management, uh, tree care, removal and disposal of dead animals, loan repayment, soil conservation work, snow removal. That is, this is all counted under city services? Under services, yes, uh, that you that, can charge, you can a special for. charge for Yes, that, that sounds to me like that. These services as defined by the statute. Yeah. And uh, the next section <coughs> just references that any fee that is imposed by a political subdivision shall bear a reasonable relationship to the service for which the fee is imposed. So I think that would go without saying. But <clears throat> I, I believe that all of our properties in the city probably get uh, street repair, snow removal, 
et cetera, et cetera, um, that animal's removed. <coughs> so I, I would think what we're talking about here probably would fit under the uh, state statute of services. That could be feed, that a fee could be applied to. Alderman Hammond, can I add that to your motion? <coughs> Pardon? Can I add that to your motion sure. according to? And, and then uh, our city clerk posed the question, which I asked earlier, do we include, do we include non-residential properties being uh, um, uh, commercial manufacturing, uh, et cetera? Because if it is a city services fee, sorry about that. That was a calculator that just started buzzing at me. Um, if it is a city services fee and it is defined as a city services fee, um, which properties receive city services? So that's the question I pose. Um, Alderman Bannon. Again, I, you need to bear in mind that any fee imposed bear, needs to bear a reasonable relationship to the service for which the fee is imposed. <coughs> We're talking about imposing a fee on commercial properties that already have garbage collection, uh, you're going to have to allocate what, what portion of the fee is going for what particular service, and, and those services have to be provided in a reasonable relationship to the services that are actually provided to those properties. You can't just <clears throat> unilaterally say that uh, uh, everybody's going to get charged you know, $5 for garbage, if they don't receive garbage collection from the city. Um, I think that's where you get into a tax as opposed to a fee for service. If it would come to, um, so uh, what, you're, what you're saying, Attorney McLean, if we were to charge a fee for snow removal, would snow removal fees have to be um, charged at linear feet of road frontage? No, but it, the fee would need to bear a reasonable relationship to the service that's being provided. So uh, you'd look at what your budget is for snow removal, and uh, you could allocate that on a reasonable basis, but it would need to be done on a reasonable basis, and that could be uh, you know, per, per parcel, perhaps, uh, of real estate in the city. But uh, you have to look at whether that was reasonable for uh, different categories of, of properties. Okay. Alderman Van Akron. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, based on Steve's comments, it seems like there's certainly some great deal of concern with just applying a generalized um, service fee. Um, I think we need to consider how to word this appropriately or, or if again we go back to a strictly a garbage fee. Um, I also want to question if it's going to be a service fee, we need to talk about the 17,500 number. Um, that number I received from the Department of Public Works and that is strictly based on their garbage pickups. That doesn't include apartment buildings, um, businesses and so on. I think we need to make sure we have a hard number on exactly how many residences we're talking about because if we're including all residences and businesses in the city for this um, service fee of some kind, it's going to be well above that 17.5, and I don't think we'll need to charge nearly the amount that we're talking about here. So I, I would like to get a hard number on what we're talking about if that's the route the council wants to go with a, a service fee that is applied to all addresses within the city. Um, again, it's going to be well above that 17,500 number, and we certainly wouldn't need to charge everybody $7.00. I think we could probably lower that and lower the impact to our citizens by doing that, but I would like a, a hard number. I don't know if Chief Administrator Amodio would have that or if uh, Deputy Director Beeble would have, have a number on that, but I think we need to clarify exactly how many residences and businesses we're talking about. As, as far as the uh, commercial properties go, um, we, we have a number of uh, 1,678. That is uh, non-residential. Now, when it comes to um, multi-unit apartment buildings, I don't know and I don't believe those are included in the 17.5 because the 17.5 is what we figured for garbage pickup. Um, so I, I don't know if uh, Nancy, uh, Jim, anybody has something that could lead us in a direction there. 
Um, but the question is, what are, what are we doing? Are we charging, if we're, we're imposing a sanitation fee, an environmental services fee, something that has to do with garbage, um, that would obviously just be the households that we pick up garbage. Mm -hmm. That would not include commercial properties. That would not include multi-tenant apartments because they already have dumpsters of their own. <clears throat> Excuse me. It includes two family and below. Um, yes, two family and below, with the exception of um, some of the older neighborhoods with broken up houses that are some of them have three and <clears throat> three and more, but in one right. standalone house. So, Alderman Heideman. Thank you, Mayor. Um, okay, um, I kind of agree with uh, Alderman Van Akron there. We got the. We have to broaden our scope as far as who's all going to pay this. this does this also include nonprofit organizations that own property in the city of Sheboygan? I mean, you're going to uh, you, you're you're throwing in police, fire, garbage, everything at one time. Uh, again, that that number would not have to be as high as seven sixteen if you included everybody, which which, which would actually make it a lot fairer. Not that I'm in, in favor of instituting any type of fee, and I was glad to see that at least that. Somebody pointed out that there's going to be an end to the fee in 2013, which is important. Um, what was 2015 is going to be? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Right. Okay. It will go through 14. Through 14. Okay. Well, thank you. But again, we, we need to determine is everybody going to be covering, uh, is going to be contributing to this fee, not just uh, the, seven, the, the people that get garbage pickup. Thank you, Alderman Heideman. And, uh, and that brings us back to uh, what is this fee? And uh, is this a, um, you know, from what I read in the statute, it, it says things about snow plowing, road repair, dead animal pickup, um, weed, tree maintenance, you name it. Um, a lot of the things that the city does on most properties, um, we indeed plow with the roads in front of every property. Uh, but is this a, you know, if this is segregated down to being a garbage fee, or lack of prettier words, which is what it comes down to, then it obviously would just be households. Um, if this is, you know, I think the, the spirit behind this is to keep all core services going, um, and therefore I think it extends beyond just households. So, Alderman Versi. Mr. Mayor, I'd actually like to have that answer to that question before I ask my following questions here. So if we can figure that one out before I ask. Uh, which question? Uh, and if this is going to be split up between all businesses and houses and everything else, or is it just a garbage fee to the residents collecting garbage? Once we get that answer, then I have some follow-up questions. Dave, let's see if he's got an answer on Okay. Do we have any uh, discussion from the council? The question posed to, by Alderman Versi, is this going to be, and I, I think Attorney McLean needs to chime in on this, um, going to be uh, a... City services fee. I mean, the, 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 I think the spirit behind this fee is to keep all core services intact. Um, and that would be, obviously, everything from garbage to the library to police to fire to snow plowing, uh, road maintenance, etc. cetera. Uh, a lot of those I see are included in that statute. If this could be a city services fee as far as covered by whatever stat, state statute that is, it could include all of them. That makes sense to me, but... I've, Obviously, I'm not the attorney. Yes. Your Honor, I think if you're going to do that, you need to have some delineation of what all those costs are and then allocate that uh, uh, on a reasonable basis to uh, across the board. If, uh, if you're talking about uh, snow and ice removal and so forth, weed elimination and uh, uh, tree care and so forth. I think you need to itemize what all those things are that you want to include in, in this uh, and then come up with a per parcel cost for that or, or fee for that. But I caution you about including in garbage collection into that list if uh, all the properties that you're going to be assessing the fee to are not receiving garbage collection, for instance. Um, and I, I pose a question on, on that, Attorney McLean. You know, right now, uh, garbage collection is 100% funded by the tax levy. Um, the tax levy uh, is, is based upon value of property and not based upon if you get your garbage collected or not. 
Uh, commercial properties are obviously paying more, and yet they have to pay for private garbage pickups. So. Right, and that's why it's a tax. It's not a fee for service. <coughs> that's, there's a difference between a tax and a fee for service. Alderman Versi. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So I guess I see make this as simple as possible. Make it what it was originally discussed as the garbage fee to the citizens using the garbage right now. And also may I remind everybody that this is, we need a lot more than this. This is a Band-Aid for this year to cover it up. We are looking forward to a bigger deficit looking forward, so one thing is not going to be the solve all, just so everybody remembers that part. This is not the, the one and only thing to fix everything moving forward. We have to look for a long term, so there's other things we need to look at as well at, on top of this. So thank you. Thank you, Alderman Versi. Um, Alderman? Okay, moving on, Alderperson Koth. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I'm assuming that. Um, with the core service fee, we're also looking at vacant land. Um, the proposal by Alderman Versi was strictly a garbage fee, a core services fee. Um, it would probably include vacant land. I, you know, but I mean, if vacant land doesn't have an address, everything is done, you know. Still gets plowed. Tax bill. There, there is a tax bill. Alderman Van Nackren for the third time, fourth time. I have a question for both of them, I, I guess. Um, Attorney McLean, would there be anything in your statute that would bar us from doing some type of public safety fee? All parcels in the city obviously have public safety um, usage and services that are supplied to them. Would there, If it was worded that way, would that meet your statutory requirements? Um, is there anything that bars if something's, it, I mean, that would be specific. I, I guess I'm looking for some guidance because you, you certainly seem to be cautioning us not to go down the road of a core services fee. I, I guess I'm looking for some guidance as to what types of uh, verbiage and uh, specific use of fee we could look at for this type of thing that would cover all um, parcels. And if, if I can just kind of kick this over to uh, the chief administrator as well, if, if you have the numbers on how many parcels that would include businesses, multi-families, and those kind of things, do you know what those numbers would be? Well. From a residential standpoint, we have 16,000, roughly 800 parcels in the city. Okay. Um, the 17,500 number is what we get off the water utility uh, for residential um, households. The difference there is that some residences have more than one meter. It doesn't mean that every one has a meter like a, four, a fourplex. It could be one meter or, you know, a duplex could have one meter, but it says that in that mix, we've picked up roughly 700 additional um, households uh, for multiple family. Um, in addition, there's roughly 1,678 commercial uh, and not-for-profit manufacturing uh, meters in the city as well, if that answers your question. It does. Thank you. And you had a question on, on a, 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 a public protection fee? Um, I think if you could identify what is included within that public <clears throat> protection fee and come up with a dollar amount as to what the city expends and allocate that on a reasonable basis uh, to all the properties, I think you could, you could do that. So, so based on different ideas that have been thrown out here, including closing fire stations, you know, cutting budgets towards the police department, if we went this route as a public safety type fee to ensure that we maintain the same level of public safety services that we supplied last year, if I'm hearing you right, that would then meet your statutory well, requirements? Well, you know, the problem you got is the difference between a tax that you can't <coughs> raise and fees that you, you can set. Uh, the more it looks like a general tax, uh, the less, less likely it's going to pass muster uh, as a fee. Uh, fees are designed to cover uh, current services rendered by allocating a portion of the service to the users. Now, if you can uh, allocate particular fire services to users, you can reasonably charge a fee for that service. 
Uh, now, I, I need to also give a caveat. There's another provision in the statute, not about public service fees, but the, before you can establish a special charge for street tarring <clears throat> or the repair of sidewalks, curb, and gutters, you need to have a uh, public hearing before you can do that. Uh, the other items that I mentioned that are specified in the statute, you don't have to have a public hearing in advance on. But uh, um, you know, the broader you make it and the, the less you tie it into particular services provided, the more it's going to look like a tax. And uh, I think it's uh, be, the more questionable it becomes as to its legality. Okay. Um, thank you, Alderman Van Akron and Attorney McLean. Alderman Carlson. Thank you, Mayor. At the uh, beginning of this discussion, I could take this at face value and accept it, but the, the longer we go, especially with uh, some more legal definitions from the attorney here, it, it's getting harder for me to accept this uh, for a couple of reasons. The first, of, uh, it, it's going to come down to what it sounds like is we're going to just charge a fee for service. And obviously, everybody knows, I mean, not to, I apologize to PETA lovers out there, but uh, not to beat a dead horse here, but I've already said my piece about the charge <laughs> service. I, I think instead of just putting an additional fee and charging even more money for the same service that we provide, we should just privatize it. This way, we know what we're going to, what the residents are going to pay over the next five years. It's a five-year contract with guaranteed, yes, there will be CPI increases, but it's guaranteed. We'll know that for the next five years. We keep it in-house. We have no idea where the budget's going to go. We can slap this fee on it. This fee can go away in 2015, but we could also have to raise the fee next year or the year after, and that raise could be even more than what the private industry is going to do it. That's why how this is going now, I can't accept this. And when we talk about core services, I don't consider garbage service a core service because somebody else can do it. Nobody else can do police. No one else can do fire. Even I, I kind of put library in the middle there somewhere because I think some of the top echelon needs to be cut out, but that's, that's for a different uh, topic here. So once again, I don't think garbage is a core service, and if we're just going to slap a fee on it, I can't accept that. Thank you, Alderman Carlson. Vice President Hammond, um, make, sure, make sure that calculator doesn't start bugging at you. It is a Buzz calculator for all the people at home. So is mine. Um, you know, I, I think we're just trying to come up with semantics on how to best decide, describe the word fee. Um, you know, realistically, the reason we're putting this together is to keep garbage in-house. So let's just call it what it is. It's a fee to continue to, to keep garbage in the city of Sheboygan. So um, that said, you know, you put the, the fee on top of, of where we're currently at, we're still um, cheaper by far than what some of the numbers that have been, been quoted. I'm not as concerned about the CPI, but I'm, I'm, I'm concerned with things like fuel surcharges and various other types of things that just kind of happen to arise, and obviously we haven't seen a contract from those guys. So, you know, let's just call it what it is. It's a fee to keep garbage inside the city of Sheboygan. Um, so I would say, um, you know, while we're going back and forth on what this really is, it's a fee to keep garbage um, inside the city and should be uh, th for the residentials. Okay, thank you, Alderman Hammond. So we are discussing a solid waste pickup fee at this point, I guess. Um, Alderman Carlson mentioned uh, privatization, which uh, for the general public was uh, document number 1634, uh, uh, which was voted down by the council, um, all but two voting. Uh, against privatization um, of garbage services. Uh, I somewhat agree with Alderman Carlson on privatization. If we look at it, um, if we're going to charge these citizens a fee and we're going to call it a, a solid waste pickup fee or a garbage fee, um, we, we do believe we can get another year out of our out of our present garbage trucks that we have. That'll get us through 2012. Um, they don't get cheaper every year. 2013, we're looking at, um, if we have to purchase new garbage trucks, we're looking in 2013 of $1.6 million thereabout. Um, that obviously we have to, to 
fund to buy new garbage trucks. Um, one thing, if we did privatize garbage, now we don't lay off any employees because we, with all, with all of the retirements, we would lay nobody off if we privatized garbage services this year. If this is something that comes up again in the next budget year, we now have 10 people on the payroll um, that would be laid off. So to keep that in mind on that. Um, in my opinion, if we can, you know, if we're going to charge a service, I'd rather see it just privatized. We're out of that business because another thing is once we're into that business again, we have employees, we have capital, capital equipment, we're in that business, and we're in that business to stay for that, that duration. Um, another thing on straight fees for service, um, it's easy for somebody to run for any public office and say, I'm going to get rid of this fee. I'm going to get rid of the garbage fee. Um, it's easy to do. It's an easy way to get elected to office is I'm going to lower taxes. I'm going to get rid of fees. I'm going to do this or that, the other thing. Um, it's easy to run on. It's hard to do because we end up in a, a deficit situation once again. And we're doing the same thing over and over again. So I look at privatizing garbage as uh, this is the one opportunity to do it. If it's not done now, it's not going to be done for the next five years plus. Um, that's the way I'm looking at it. We don't have to spend $1.6 million on capital. We lay nobody off. We lay nobody off. Um, there's been talk about competition in the private sector. Right now, there's not much competition in the garbage market in Sheboygan. In the city of Sheboygan, there's a reason for that. Um, because 17,500 households are now picked up by the city. Manitowoc, which is a free-for-all up there, for lack of better words, has four garbage companies. Uh, they have, uh, was brought to my attention that uh, one garbage company was formed by former city employees that started a garbage company, <laughs> picking up garbage. Um, now, the way they do it up there, it's just everybody contracts their own garbage pickup. I don't believe that would work in the city of Sheboygan at this point. It would be too easy to not contract garbage pickup. We'd have alleys and everything else full of garbage. Uh, I'm not looking for a city full of garbage. But um, if we were to privatize garbage pickup, uh, charge a fee according to uh, the people that get the services for whatever that may be, when that RFP comes through and is clean, we're out of the business. We lay nobody off. We don't have the capital expenditures in the future. Um, you don't have somebody coming along saying, I'm going to get rid of that fee because we're not in that business. So that's my own personal point of view. Um, you know, I look at things, some things, um, if the private sector can do it, government probably doesn't belong in it. Uh, that's one thing that, that I believe in. This, this is the one opportunity to do this. If it's not done now, it's not done for five years. Uh, we don't know in the future how our budgets are going to go. Um, seven sixteen for garbage this year, five bucks, five bucks sunsets. You know that the cost of doing business is going to continue to go up during that time. Um, it may not be this council, it may not be this mayor, but there's going to be 16 or eight people or however big the council is and maybe a mayor or half a mayor sitting up here that's going to have to make these same decisions. So I think it's easier to make that decision now. Um, make the hard decision. Alderman Bourne, please. <coughs> Thank you, Mayor. I just wanted to expand on something you mentioned about getting another year out of the garbage trucks. Uh, in some discussions I had today with uh, David Beeble from Public Works, we may, be evil, we may be able to get more out of the chassis and just replace the packers. That's another option. I don't know if, if David would want to expand on that a little bit, where I know we're going to be talking about it tomorrow night at the Public Works meeting, but there's some, there are some opportunities not to have to replace all those trucks, maybe just the packers, and I believe... Uh, Mr. Beeble said that possibly it would be a, an expenditure of about half of what we're talking about of the 1.6 million. Uh, there's a possibility of doing two front loaders and just replacing the, the packing units on the other trucks, and that would be a substantial savings. Those trucks that we have right now, those diesel engines, the chassis have about 50,000 miles on them at the most, and of course diesels run forever, but Mr. Beeble told me that sometimes there's problems with corrosion and transmissions, but still there's an opportunity that we can get a lot more life out of the existing trucks without having to spend 1.6. Thank you, Alderman Boren. Uh, Dave, do you just uh, anything to expound on with that? 
Master, Master of Public Works, Steve People. Thanks. Hey, yeah, we're, we're, we're constantly evaluating the garbage <coughs> collection system, looking at our equipment, and one of the options is just that uh, using the existing chassis, the, the chassis themselves are in very good condition. The packing mechanisms are getting worn. We talked with our mechanics. We can probably get another year. It's going to take that long anyway. If we would get permission to order new trucks, it's going to take us time to develop the specifications, go out for bids, and get those ordered. So we're, 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 we're still evaluating all those options. Every year we come in with a budget, um, and next year and the year after, we'll continue to provide the best budget that we can provide that service and equipment's part of that budget. If, if I may, um, before you sit down, Dave, and, and, uh, and we have here two gentlemen, um, uh, Dave Beeble, who's in charge of public works. We have Jim Amodio, who's in charge of the finances of the city. Um, what is your opinion on uh, the city privatizing garbage, keeping it in the city? Where, um, what makes financial sense? What makes sense for DPW? In, in terms of privatization, can it be done? The model is clear. You can privatize. Um, we're, the, the issue in Sheboygan is we're competitive now financially when you just take our operating budgets. Moving forward down the line, uh, we have fuel costs, we have equipment costs, and, and Jim's right, he's run the numbers on the capitalization. When we do have to purchase those new garbage trucks, it's going to be a cost, and that cost is going to go back to our operating budgets, which affects the general fund. I, I guess uh, my take would be that if we're going to privatize, we cost avoid uh, laying people off and we cost avoid capital. <coughs> Short of that, if the decision is not to privatize, which, which to me makes the most financial sense, is that next time around when we buy trucks, we finance the trucks. I, I don't necessarily agree with just replacing packer units because if we did that, we wouldn't be able to finance those. But if we went out and purchased new vehicles, who would be able to finance the new vehicles, probably get some trade-in value or residual on our current vehicles. The cost of garbage collection would go up by the interest we would pay, but we would avoid spending capital in the motor vehicle fund for other uses. Okay, under further discussion, Alderman Bourne, did you get your answer on you? That was it, thanks. Okay, thank you. Uh, Alderperson Kittleson? Thank you, Mayor. And I guess I, I just would remind council that we just did a study, a whitewater study here, where uh, people do consider garbage pickup a core service, and there's 86 or 87 percent of the people said it's a, an excellent service. And, they, and the majority of calls that I've gotten and the people that I talk to on the street and when I'm out and about ask, please do not privatize the garbage. They appreciate the service. They want that service. That is a core service of the city. Thank you. Thank you, Alderperson Kittleson. Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm going to call the question. It's because if this motion does not pass, we're going to be here for a long time. So I think we need to kind of move on. Okay, we're calling the question on the uh, motion of Vice President Hammond and President Decker. 716 for garbage pickup. Or 2012, yep. In 2012, Five calling it a solid waste removal fee, something of the sort. Um, $5 in 2013, $5 in 2014, nothing in 2015. Um, call the question. Does anybody second calling the question? Second. We have a second. Uh, all in favor of calling the question? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, the question is called. Roll call vote, please. An I vote will set the rate at 716 and 12, 5 and 13, and 5 and 14. A no vote will not. Heidemann? No. Koth? No. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? No. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? No. Belt? Aye. Warren? Aye. Carlson? No. Decker? Aye. Hammon? No. Oops. Just got to build out our Ooh, room. I had that going too fast. And Hammond? <laughs> Aye.
Nine ayes, six noes. Motion carries. So where does this leave us? This, oh, wow. leave, this leaves us with the original motion to pass the resolution as amended. I'll withdraw my five dollar one, right? Mm -hmm. No, no amendment to yours. We have to pass yours as amended. And Alderman Raisler just withdrew his. Okay, original. Alderman Raisler withdrew his original amendment. So what we have now is we have uh, 1548. We're speaking of here, correct? Right. 1548 um, amended to include a seven dollar and sixteen cent um, solid waste removal fee in 2012. Five dollars in 2013. Five dollars in 2014. Sunsetted in 2015. Excuse me? Which document are you referring to? 1636. Oh, excuse me. Wrong page. Same document. <laughs> the only document we're speaking of tonight, basically. 1636, thank you. Thank you. Attorney McLean, thank please. You, uh, in order to have a clean document, I think it would be important also to have some motion. Uh, Mr. Modio provided numbers that were adding to the various appropriation items, uh, and I, I assume those aren't in the printed document. That's right. Uh, I think there should be a motion to to uh, amend those documents to reflect the numbers that uh, Mr. Modio just provided uh, before you act on the final package. Move. Second. Okay, motion and a second to adjust the numbers, and the numbers are adjusted as? How do you want us to do that, Steve? The 585 for 2012? No, not, not those. I'm talking about, like, there was a reference to additional $8,000 for elections. Uh, I don't know what the laundry list uh, was. Jim, can you? Of the additional items. But currently, the proposed resolution is that the, uh, the following appropriations as printed here would be approved as the appropriation. But what you're talking about changes yeah, the, the list we went through was, uh, in addition to that, 947, 80,000 for elections, 80. 80,000 for elections. 100,000 for airport site prep. 100,000. Where does that fit into the uh, budget document here, Jim? <coughs> under uh, expenditures. Under public of Works, or? We could put it in Public Works, yes. Uh, elections would obviously be under City Clerk. It would be under Elections. There's Elections. So we have Elections. Okay, 80,000 there. Plus 80,000. Um, site preparation for river dredging under Public Works. Yes. Of 100,000? Yes. Okay. There would be uh, a reduction in uh, the fire budget of 80,000. Okay, fire department. There would be a reduction okay. of 70,000 in the uh, police department. There would be a reduction in public works of 395,000. There would be an addition um, of 450,000. Um, I'm not sure, Nancy, what department is that? Can we put the... Uh, uh, in general government, uh, 450,000 to cover the retirees. And I guess in the same place I put the 470,000. It's an additional 470? Correct. OK, 
Okay. Um, if I if I may ask, uh, with everything we've done here, um, with the seven dollar, let's talk about uh, 2011 and 12 with the seven dollar and 16 cent fee in 2012. Uh, what does that do as far as covering our uh, million five oh five that we attempted to cover? That covers that, it. That's for what it covers. Okay. Million uh, five oh three, I believe, and change. Okay. Vice President Hammond, please. Thank you. I was just going to ask uh, um, Attorney McLean. In here, we also have that we're going to apply nine hundred fifty thousand of fund ish of fund equity from the general fund. Do we need to amend that out of here too? I, th I think you want a clean document when you get done tonight, so the numbers should match. Uh, so. so we should amend to put a um, special charge of the million five hundred three, and pull out the nine fifty of fund equity applied. Yeah, you lose me when you start talking about fund equity. <laughs> well, um, originally, money coming or, from the general fund. Yeah. <laughs> or, originally, this document, we plugged our hole in this document with taking money out of the general fund I reserve. I assume you're putting it in some revenue category. And, and, uh, I, th I think that should, that should go away. Uh, we've added the cost, and I think we need to increase revenue by the $1,500,000. I just wanted to make sure it was legally correct. Can we do that, Jen? <coughs> Steve, and not go to jail? You okay with that? Yeah, I think it would probably fit under charges for services, under the general revenue category. Okay. But I'm not, the, I'm not a finance guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so re uh, under revenue, we will do... Uh, wh where will that go under revenue? Which, uh, which line item? Charges for services. Okay. Million five oh three. Is that what it was? Okay. Change. Yeah. And change. And we're taking out the uh, fund equity applied, correct, of nine forty seven out of the general fund? Correct. Okay. Everybody straight on that? Anything else? Just had somebody beep in. I have a bunch of old lights up here. Alderman Versi, did you? Does anybody else have any other discussion here on the board? I just, I just wanted to ask. Going, okay, just, a, just a moment. I'm going to turn these off. And if you have any other further questions, if people can beep in, Alderman Versi. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So, with our new fee that we established, that's covering the 505. What are we facing for 20 to, for 2013, 2014? The numbers that you had, we already had a deficit. What's that deficit <coughs> that we're facing? Uh, depends on CPI at two and a half percent in 2013. It'd be roughly 850 to 900 thousand for 13. Um, again, whatever CPI would be in 14, if it were the same at two and a half percent, it'd be roughly the same number, slightly higher. Did you have something else? I just wanted to ask. The, eventually, we're going to get a, a new copy of the, uh, the updated. All, all these I've jotted them down, but we'll eventually get a copy <laughs> of this, right? It'll be a new. It'll be a resolution as amended. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. <clears throat> Alderman Heideman, did you have something? Yeah, thank you, Mayor. So, if I understand this right, you're going, we're going to take and correct me. So, there's seventeen thousand five hundred people that are going to be paying an additional eighty-six dollars a year. Correct. That's it. So no nonprofits, no no corporations, no businesses, nothing. They they all get the free ride because there's seventeen hundred or seventeen thousand five hundred people that are willing to pay this eighty six dollar fee. You got to be kidding me! But I won't know again. Okay. Thank you, Alderman Heideman. The, the way that this was uh, uh, worded is a uh, basically a garbage fee. Those are the people that get the garbage picked up. Vice President Hammond. Exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Fourplexes, greater businesses, they're already paying for their own garbage collection. Um, and amongst many other fees that they pay for, um, all we're doing is, from what I'm hearing from people, and many in this room have been hearing from people, they like the service they get from the city and are willing to pay um, to keep that service inside the city. Um, 
so uh, to me, it, it makes a lot of sense. It's kind of a no-brainer. Uh, okay, um, I've got a few lights coming in. Uh, as we know, the document has already been passed. Alderman Van Akron? Did you just, old light? Alderman Bourne? Uh, just kind of follow up on what Alderman Heideman was saying. Uh, I, certainly don't, I certainly don't like fees, but I'm going to hold my nose and vote for this because uh, it is going to be going down to $5 for 13 and 14 and has a chance of going away in, uh, in 15. So had, uh, had, the, had the motion not passed earlier about this thing eventually sunsetting, I wouldn't have supported it because I don't like fees either. But I have been hearing from my constituents over the weekend, and I've talked to quite a few of them, that they do want to keep garbage and they are willing to pay a fee. And I think I can explain to them that uh, I was talking about a $5 fee, and I think I can explain to them for at least the one year to get us out of this bind we're in that, uh, that I think they'll be willing to pay the 716 But uh, I think there is light at the end of the tunnel in 15. The council can take a look at it and... Maybe if times are better, it can go away. Thanks. Thank you, Alderman Bourne. I apologize to the council. Uh, this document is not passed. The amendment was passed. Okay, Alderman Heideman. So, so the document is still open. The amendment was agreed upon, but the entire document is not passed as of yet. Alderman Van Akron. Now that it's not passed, I will speak on it. Um, <laughs> I, I, too, agree with... Uh, um, Alderman Bourne, I, I like the fact that this is sunsetting in three years. I think it gives us the opportunity to get our financial house in order. It gives us the opportunity, and we have to deal with the financial reality of today and next year, which this certainly covers. And by 2014, I hope as a group, whether it's myself still on, on this council and, and whoever else is still here, that we get the opportunity to decide what services we end up having to cut between um, Again, finding financial efficiencies or growth in the city, I hopefully we, we can see an end to this fee and you know get back to not having to charge a fee for service. And that certainly is my goal, and I certainly will work over the next year to uh, certainly accomplish that. So that is my hope. Um, I do agree that, unfortunately, due to the financial reality, this is something that is needed. I'm not happy about it. I don't think anybody's happy about voting for it, but the financial reality is, is um, you know, this, this solves our financial problem for this year. It solves our financial problem for, from last, for next year, excuse me. Um, and everybody I've heard from, too, is, is willing to pay a small fee to keep the quality service that we have. Um, the mayor touched on privatizing, and, and I understand that he's in favor of that. However, if private sector could do it cheaper than the city, I, I think I'd, I'd take a look at that. But in this case, private sector can't do it cheaper than what the city is offering. I think it's important that we give our citizens the best deal possible. This is the best deal that we can give them. Again, I'm not happy about it, but I, but I think that's the financial reality we find ourselves in. So I will support it, and I hope that uh, this council can move forward from here. Thank you, Alderman Van Akron. Alderperson Koth. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. So it's my understanding this will go on the water bill and then next year it'll go on the tax bill? No. Uh, Jim, I, I think the intention is yes, that this will go on. This will not go on this year's tax bill. Tax bills are already out. It will go on the water bill. Water bills come out monthly. However, they, they are for every quarter. They send out 6000 a month. Uh, this would go out on the water bill, um, probably the first one in February. Um, it would be retroactive to January, obviously. So it would be the fee would be imposed uh, if this is passes to January 1st, 2012. We come out on the water bill. Uh, this council could decide um, in 2013 to put it on the tax bill, but obviously it's not happening. Uh, we have to have a hearing to put it on a tax bill, as Steve alluded to earlier. So it would be on the water bill for 2012. During 2012, we could have hearings and put it on the tax bill and probably save uh, the $40,000 fee we'd have to pay to the water utility for collecting. They should. Yeah, the water utility will bill us $40,000 a year to, to do the billing process for collecting. So. Further comment? Okay, we have a motion and a second as amended, correct, Sue? Correct. As amended. Um, we all have the numbers scribbled on our document. Uh, do we all understand that? All understand the numbers? Okay, any further discussion?
If there is none on document number 1636, roll call please. As amended, obviously. Kath, no. Kittleson? Aye. Matichuk? No. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? No. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? No. Decker? Aye. Hammond? No. Hammond? Aye. And Heidemann? No. I'm sorry, I said no. I heard the no. <laughs> Nine eyes, six no's. Motion carries. Is there any other further business this evening? Okay, thank you, everybody. I know it's uh, some hard decisions to make here this evening. I appreciate everybody uh, speaking their minds and remaining very civil in the process. We're done. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Joe, are you opposed to? No? Okay. No. Joe even says aye. <laughs> Motion carries. Thank you, everybody.